What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about Again Again by E. Lockhart. I was a huge fan of We Were Liars. I was not expecting to like that book as much as I did. Same thing with Genuine Fraud. That one like totally took me away. It was so much fun. So when I heard about Again Again, I was excited about it. The thing with E. Lockhart is that her stories are YA contemporary, but they're very poetic. There is this like deeper story going on like right beneath the surface which is really interesting to see. And especially with Again Again, like the way it is written, it is very poetic. But I was kind of disappointed in this book. It was kind of a nothing story and it was just a little bit too fluffy for my taste. So Again Again is mostly about like the multiverse theory. So every decision that you make, like every decision that you could have made exists in another like timeline, in another universe. So in a way you live like millions upon millions of lives because every little decision that you make like branches off into so many other things so as the story was going on we would get to see like certain things from this perspective or maybe it would have happened this way or what if like she had met this person kind of thing which was really interesting and I did like that in the story there was this like deep sadness like right underneath the surface it, it's a lot about how Adelaide is really going through it and she's a very sad person like she, you know her brother is a recovering addict like she just broke up with her boyfriend like she's like on academic probation there's a lot going on with her but she's trying so hard to be positive and just like keep you know that smile on and be this bubbly happy person for everybody but there is this sadness beneath her and you know sometimes when people see it you know they pull away from her and I did like seeing that I just wish the story could have focused on it a little bit more because when we would get it it felt like really precious and like really special but then we would go back to like the more YA contemporary fluffy type moments and I just wish E. Lockhart would have pushed it a little bit farther. Like even when it came to part five of the story, I was really hoping for like some kind of twist or like something new to happen, but it just sort of trailed off into the end. So was this my favorite E. Lockhart book? No. Would I recommend it? Not over her other books. I think, you know, like Genuine Fraud, uh, We Were Liars were a lot better, uh, but it was interesting and it did make me think a lot about how, you know, people have this underlying sadness and sometimes they project it onto other people or like what they were looking for like Adelaide was an interesting main character I just think like the story didn't quite live up to its potential so I am giving this book a C plus uh, it was interesting wouldn't necessarily recommend it but it was worth the read anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can talk books with me every week that is everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time bye